Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> All right, so this is Roselle Nava, and um, you guys recommended it after we watch uh, Kakai Bautista doing the same song, but on Wish, and you guys were like, okay, now that you found this, you gotta find now this one. So here we are. Well, this is on mix. The same. It's the same song, though. Yeah, Bakit Ang... Bakit Na Bama ba ba Okay. Yeah. Thanks, mate. No problem. But Tim, bro. she's correct. I've read the comments. Nice. Guitar and piano, the ultimate combo. You know, that that chord progression and how it's played and mixed kind of reminds me a little bit of Elton John. Tell me what it is. <laughs> yeah, I know, uh, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It is a bit Elton ish. Doesn't it sound a bit like Elton John? I like it. <laughs> give one of the musicians the glasses. The Elton John glasses. Ooh, I love her dress. That's an album. Also, it's often sang this way. Delicate and breathy. That's such a combo the piano and guitar. she runs into that into that line it is not it's not square so it's like triplets she's running in like a runner-up of the Bakiba uh, Bama Mahal it's, it's all like Bakiba Bama yeah isn't it cool it's really it's makes really it way like, more percussive more dynamic I it guess. is it's really nice because you would think it will go straight a um, you know straight beats throughout the steady as it goes into the, the yeah, chorus. Yeah, just sort of more, yeah, more square. Yeah. You know, and she's decided to do a squiggle. No, it's just like in triplets. Yeah, just... an abstract squiggle. Sure, yeah. Art. Art. <laughs> Sometimes when Call I... Call it jazz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blues, yeah. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> It's also interesting, right? Like I am make I'm obviously saying that that's like the ultimate combo: the guitar, the are we even recording you, bro? The the guitar, the piano, and the yeah, it's, it's like the ultimate combo. But I, I like I said, I feel like it always needs a bass because it's like um. But maybe for this song, that's not the case because that type of like um. I guess to some extent they both. I, I don't know if this is correct to say, but they feel like they're in the same frequency. Well, yeah, I think so. Like, in the sense of pitch-wise, like, uh, sound and, and, and the, they, they're both... Ah, oh, it's difficult to explain well, what I'm trying they're, to say. They're, they're both strings, if you think about it. Remember that the piano... Essentially, yes. So, um, sounds like that because you're knocking on strings. So, I, I suppose that the texture and the mixing is very similar. It's around the... It... it, it uh, it requires similar things, so I think perhaps that's maybe why you would relate. And they're. Uh... But give it, but given the singer's voice, mm. right? They kind of all unite strongly together, and there is no disruptor of that uh, unison, mm -hmm. which I feel is needed through the bass, right? But maybe in this song, because given the fact that other people perform the song, 
like this uh, sort of idea of delicacy and sweetness and uh, mm. vulnerability. Yeah. Uh, perhaps this is the best way to perform this song with a guitar and a piano. I've never been... That's like the ultimate combo I say because that's the one that everyone does. But I'm actually not the biggest fan of that combination, piano and guitar, because it right. feels dry and empty to me. I see. You know, it always does. It, regardless of how good the pianist is, I feel the piano drowns the guitar or the guitar becomes... a. a tries to stand out so much that then it becomes unbearable, right? But in this case, they've they've created a triad mm-hmm. of, uh, of oh, I guess, sound. And uh, they all sound delicate and vulnerable and uh, sort of like, yeah. Again, it's just really, to it's, some extent. it's really well mixed. And I think it, com- it always comes down to that. Yeah. Um, it's also a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I find that the way that she's singing it is so... Yeah, it's so delicate and so uh, melodic, but there's a lot of, uh, of of emotional intent behind each word. Like you feel the emphasis in certain words, and like the way that she delivers the lines are very emotionally connected. It's not it's not just simply a melody, and she's replicating the melody. It has to do a lot with her storytelling through the melody itself. Which is very palpable here, and I, I don't I don't uh, speak Tagalog, but they, that's something that you can obviously pick out, especially in the way that inflection and the way that the, the, the words are being delivered, given the delicacy of the track itself. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> It's just wonderful. She's fantastic. You see, it's it's so very. It's those are choices, you know. It's also a weird chord. What is it? Like an F major minor. Sorry, F, F major seven. Sorry, I kind of missed that whole key change. What is that? She makes you want to sing I know. <laughs> you know. You know. It's really cool that, the, that when she what sings. What is that? Is that like a? a... I don't play the guitar. I don't know. Father, huh? what chord is this? What is this? <laughs> what chord is this? Uh, I think it's it's third fret, or second. Is that like F F, F minor? Play it. Put it back. It's I mean, a, you... it's a G G minor. Look. Put it up there. Oh. What is that? Second second fret. Second fret is uh, F sharp minor. Told you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that's what I said. Oh, maybe not. I think I said F F. Bra, no, bra, I think bra, I said bra, F bra. major seventh. That's what I. No, it's, it's an F sharp minor. I think that's what it is. I could, we could be wrong. I, could, I can barely see it, but I think I think you're right there. Mm-hmm. Oh. But listen to this key It's a weird Papa. like chord progression of his song. It is hard. <laughs> when she says it like that like at the end it's very it, it's how a lot of like uh, Spanish ballads decide to do certain like mannerisms at the end of ballad phrases that little like twang at the end is like a little devariation uh, 
Selena Quintanilla used to do it a lot in her end, at the end of phrases. It's really cool. You hear that? So that guitar apparently is an F sharp. Oh, wow. Before the key change. Yeah. After the key change. Hell yeah. Ooh. Yeah, song is only like five chords, four chords. Beautiful, beautiful. That was so, gorgeous. Apparently, it's a. It's, it's an F. So, in the chorus, in that bit where she's saying, uh, by key. Yeah, it's just F. Yeah, that doesn't look like an F from that. But. It looks like an F, but minor. Yeah, and then apparently it's. Because his two fingers are reinforcing. Yeah, maybe it just does have strong fingers, isn't it? The two. There, there's some, there's some guitars that decide to do that just for comfort, but um, I don't know. I have no idea. You would imagine. I, I thought that looked like an F shot, like an F, uh, F minor, but yeah, but you could do uh, an F seven. Oh, That's what I thought. It's an F seven. That's also what I thought, he, but I think I'm wrong, anyways. <laughs> anyways, well, I'm checking out the, like the chords, but I don't know. They don't seem to be right. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Let us know maybe if you play this song in the guitar, what you thought of it. And also, uh, yeah, what you think of it. I don't, she is the original singer, by the way. Oh, she's the original yeah. singer. She's oh, the original singer. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, so we saw Kakai cover do a this. cover of it. Uh, it's a fantastic song, though. It's such a hard song and the progression. And I love the touch of diaphonic uh, taste to her vocal mannerisms. So kind of like diaphonic. Yeah. Or diaphonic. Diaphonic. Die for it. Mm. You sure? Yeah. Okay, fine. Well, I believe you. <laughs> now you're making me question all my life choices. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let us know what else would you check out next. Bama hi, guitar.